All right guys, today, my vlog, we're gonna take a little tour of the eighth grade tower talks. And the this is a eighth grade elective uh, that they've been working on for a semester. Uh, these ideas, these concepts, it's really truly a passion project and I'm so excited to come along for the ride and check it out and have you with us. So without further ado, let's go. Uh, for my project. So what do they do? So uh, they can charge your phone and uh, they use this 9 volt battery uh, power to power the um, uh, battery and then I used a motherboard that I took out of a car charger uh, to, and then you just plug in the USB and plug it into the So here we are down in the library where we're getting a lot of these pop-up uh, projects. And I'm about to interview sort of one of my former students, fantastic students, Vivian. Let's uh, see what she got. What was her project? Basically for my project, I'm making stress toys for children on the autism spectrum. And this is pretty important to me because uh, I know a lot of people with autism. I'm very experienced in it and I volunteered for a lot of causes for children with autism. some songs using the tractor software and the hardware right here. And then I also used GarageBand. I created two songs. I created more of like an electronic song and a punk song. Uh, so for my Tower Hour project, I knew that I wanted to do something in inner city Milwaukee that could help kids academically and also uh, I wanted to make something because most of the time I uh, doing stuff digitally rather than in hand. So first I went on to Tinkercad and I made this 3D basketball hoop and when I realized this isn't big enough, I went on and got, we got plexiglass from the room. Oh, besides uh, volunteering, uh, I'm also going to be selling, when I sell the basketball hoops, uh, at $10. All the money that I get from that, from selling, will go back to Boys and Girls Club, so then I'm volunteering and also helping them, which is what I really hope to do and was my goal for this project. Like that's like service and innovation, like put together in this class. I'm super excited for you, Bennett. Way to go. Thank you. So this is our tower, our project. We decided to create a sport called 13 ball and then make mini batch on the lathe so It's going to be a cat class in the spring. In the spring. Uh, we will also do other baseball related stuff. Such, in that class. Yeah, such as um, blitz ball, our game that we created 13 ball, uh, football ball, and other uh, games. Super excited to see where this goes. So we saw all those projects and I was kind of blown away by their passion, their enthusiasm to like think through sort of a product or an idea. And so many of yours was like built around charity and this idea of giving them even from the baseball bats who want to like make what they call the cat class, which is an elective for other kids to take and play their game. And then we have the like pinball where like those lower school kids were just loving to play on that pinball and they, they created a sense of joy and passion 
all the way to like some of the like dog chew toys things to some photography to little basketball for your uh, trash can. I just think it was so cool to see you guys be so excited about your projects and build those out. And you know, in our classrooms, I just think giving opportunities for students to sort of think what they like and how they can apply their passion to our classroom. Let's let's give up some of our time, some of our control to make that happen, guys. Uh, I'm super impressed and super glad that you guys put that out there and that many of you volunteered to sort of be interviewed and let me film your stuff. So thank you. And for those of you watching this channel, if you could please smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Put the thumbs up. That always helps. And, you know, leave a comment below where you, you know, talk about like your 20% time or genius hour in your class. Some of the things that you guys do. This was our tower hour is what we call it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, see you later.